guys, Miss Charlie here with another project pan. And this is for what I used for March and what I'm going to be using for April. Um, when I filmed this, I've already started using a few products that are in my April project pan and I have some thoughts on them already. But we're gonna start with this basket here, which is what I used for the month of March and my progress. So got a lot to do. So we'll go ahead and get started. And for my primer, I used the Mario Badescu spray. This one is the Chamomile and Lavender. And this is where she was when I started. And now she is all the way down here. So this is almost used up. So I will be getting a backup. I've been using this for so many years um, and I really enjoy it. Started out with like the small bottle and then just graduated up to the bigger bottle. But this was my primer spray, put it on before makeup and also to set my powders. My moisturizers, I used the e.l.f. hydration stick. I did not weigh this or anything because it's really, it's gonna take a long time to use up. It's still got that much left in it. I would put this on before my, before uh, this moisturizer under my eyes and around my mouth and my chin um, to combat any extra dryness because where I live it's been cold and then it's been warm and it's been cold it's been warm so the weather is kind of wonky right now until it gets itself straight for spring but I used that and then for the regular moisturizer I used the Kate Somerville goat milk I love this it's very hydrating and it smells smells really nice really light scent and um, this is where it was when I started it, and this is where the weight is now. But those were my like moisturizers. For my face primer, I used the e.l.f. Cookies and Dream. This was so nice. So, so nice. It smells like cookies. It went on very smooth. You only needed a little bit, and I used a little spatula to get it out. I have this little spatula that came with some skincare that I had purchased from TJ Maxx, so I used that to take it out and put it on. It's so nice. I really enjoyed this, really enjoyed it. And I heard people say that this formula was better than the regular putty primer from e.l.f., and I haven't tried that one, but I really enjoyed this a primer from e.l.f. For my eye cream, I used a Dermalect Eyelid Dark Circle Corrector. This does calm down my darkness around my eyes. i correct it a bit. I really like this too, and it has one of those metal tips on it for cooling, which is nice to help depuff your eyes. And this, there's still a lot in here, but it's going down quite a bit. So I used uh, quite a bit of this, and again, I use eye cream in the when I do my makeup during the day and then I also use it at night in my skincare. For my lip treatments, I had said I was using the e.l.f. Um, brown sugar scrub because I bought a brand new one and pulled it out for this for my March project pan but then when I started using it, it was bad. It was very sticky and goopy and it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be it's supposed to have a little cream but it's supposed to be, you know, hard, uh, coarse like a like a scrub and it was not it was bad so I got a bad one this is like the third time that I've gotten a bad one and I've used this product for years so I got rid of that <laughs> so I decided to just keep using my chapstick total hydration because I was using this the month before and it's almost used so this will be used up soon I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's very nice it reminds me of the brown sugar because it has a good coarseness but not too coarse and it gets the dead skin off and leaves my my lips very soft and then after I used this Sophia and Maybell lip oil this is in Yuzu and this I used quite a bit I enjoyed this as well I did have to apply it maybe twice during the time I was making doing my my makeup but that wasn't too bad like I've had other ones where you have to continuously put it on because two seconds later it's gone but this was just fine and I used quite a bit 
of this up from the beginning to now. And those were my lip treatments for March. For my concealers, I used the ColourPop No Filter and the Pretty Vulgar. These were newer to my collection, so I decided to use them. And I usually mix a darker and a lighter to get my perfect concealer shade. This one is in uh, Middle Ground. Sorry, blurry. And this one is in Deep Dark. And I did pull the stoppers out of these to get so I can get more out out of both of them to get more out and easier to you know so I can mix it but here's the weight for those for my foundations I use the rare beauty foundation I got this in a boxy charm and it you can see that is very dark and it's very red so I mixed it with my elf flawless finish foundation that I got from Dollar Tree I picked up two of these and this one is a little bit lighter and cooler so I mixed them together and of course I always mix with my LA girl foundation mixing pigment in blue to get the color that I want and I don't yep yeah. and I mix it in this little container I get from the Dollar Tree so that I can you know mix them all together and get my perfect shade this color here is in 410 N neutral and that is not neutral this is warm AF and then this one is in tan which is very cool but I can see the difference this is from when I started and this is where it is now it's down just a little bit because I did not you didn't need much of it especially after you mixed it um, I think I had to do this one more time because I didn't fill it all the way I just filled it a quarter of the way which got me through a couple of weeks and then I put a little bit more in there and that got me through the last couple of weeks and then this one was here and it's now down here so this will be done here soon and I have a backup of it but these were my um, foundations for the month and they wore good together they didn't they didn't break up or be greasy or anything like that they they complemented each other very well for powders I used my covergirl full spectrum and you can see where it was Yeah, I made a big dent in that I can't get this unless I I'm gonna see if I can get it on Amazon but I did pick up a couple of these from um, Dollar Tree but they weren't in my shape but I'm gonna use them for other things I am using one of those in my um, April project pan as a bronzer and then there's another one that's really dark I'm gonna use as a contour in another project pan but this one is in um, tan golden and you can see I hit the pan on that and then this is RCMA this is I put it in this container when I was traveling and I just decided to go ahead and use it because I have the full-size container of this and I've had it for years my best friend gave it to me because she didn't like it and I've been using it for years and I mix it with other powders as well it'll last you forever um, so I still have um, almost well half full of the large size of the regular size and then I had this one that I had put some in for travel and I decided to use it so you can see the weight on this guy but those were my powders for March for blushes I used this be pure flawless or it essentially flawless blush in Dahlia I got this from the Dollar Tree it's a very pretty terracotta and it is very pigmented one dip will do both cheeks I'm telling you you don't need much so I was very happy with that and then I was trying to use up this the balm in stain it's like a little sample I've had this for so long this is in pinstripe and I still haven't hit pan on this and I've had this for a long time so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because I do have other blushes 
and again I've had this for a long time and I haven't hit pan on it yet I've only used up two blushes since I've been wearing blush I didn't used to wear blush and then I started and I've only panned two and those were Tarte blushes I love their blushes but I thought I was gonna hit pan on this one but unfortunately not and she's gonna get decluttered but those were my blushes for contour and highlight I had brought out for contour my uh, flesh stick this is in tiramisu got this at the dollar store this is a great contour I still have quite a bit left this is plastic right here so I have this much left and I used it all month all month and I still haven't cut it down but it's a very it's a foundation but I use it as a contour is very nice but when I started using it I had realized I didn't pull in a powder contour so I pulled in my little Rimmel palette here which is highlight contour and blush I finally hit pan on this what last year I've had this for so long you only need a little bit of this it'll last you forever I'm gonna see if I can use this up by the end of the year if not she's gonna be this is gonna be decluttered I still like these and mix those together as a highlight because this is a blush but it's too glowy so I use it mixed with this this I use all the time and there is a dip in it and this one but if I cannot use this one up by the end of the year this part will be decluttered and then I'll take these out and put them in a Z palette and continue to use them but I did use both of those for March 2 and mix them with the air spun highlighter I got from the Dollar Tree this is okay I'm gonna pass this on to my BF and see if she might like it it is a pretty golden color but it once it's on my skin it's very subtle and I don't mind a subtle highlight but this one in here is way more intense than this one is. So, but it was nice to mix it together. So I'm gonna pass that on and you can see the weight on this one. It probably didn't change that much at all because highlighter, you have to use it for months and months before you see any type of a dent in it. For my bronzer, I used my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk a powder and this is in the number eight and I've used this many times I got this in an influence um, not an influencer in a buds agent kind of like influencer to give you products to try out and it has a little a brush underneath and the brush is very soft but I use this as con as a as a bronzer and I really enjoy it and I did not weigh this because I knew it really wouldn't go anywhere and then this BYS Ultra Glow, Glow Palette. This is a colored highlighter palette that my coworker gave me a while ago. And I love it for inner corner highlight, also for regular highlight. So I mixed these. So if I did a green look, I used a green. If I did a, a more neutral look or a, a purple or pinky look, I would use the pink or the and the purple, mix them together or individual. And then this is like a bluey like a blue um, purple I can just swatch them for you so you can see the colors they're very very pretty they did not leave like a cast on my skin anyway because you blend them in with your blush so that you just catch the light from them it doesn't look that intense and in here but they're they're very very intense and beautiful and they blended in so nicely with my blushes so those were my contour blush and highlights for March for my brows I just kept in my wet and wild ultimate brow kit see she's almost done I don't really use this color this is like my second maybe second one that I've gone through and I do have a backup I use the wax and then this color to fill in my brows this is inexpensive I think it's like less than five dollars and then I brought in this NYX professional this is their eyebrow powder pencil I got this at TJ Maxx this is in espresso it's not too creamy and it's not too hard it's 
perfect 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 I enjoyed this um, very much and it has a spoolie on it and then the Juvia's brow um, gel this is clear but it's now brown because what I did was I would take this uh, spoolie and rub it in this wax because this formula doesn't hold very well for me and I don't have a lot of brow hairs but they're thick so I mix it in with that um, wax and then put it on and it, it kept them in place but um, this is pro this is almost gone so this will be decluttered but those are what I used for my brows for mascaras I uh, brought out this Avava pink lash primer from Luna magic this does help with you know keeping my lashes curled and giving some volume and length with certain mascaras so I brought that out and then I also brought back out my Lash Beats Defining Ma uh, Lengthening Mascara from e.l.f. Got this from TJ Maxx. I really like this mascara and it does have fibers in it. I wish the teeth on the brush were just a little bit longer, but it worked well with the primer. And then the L'Oreal Voluminous is my favorite mascara this one is about done I bought a two pack at TJ Maxx and this one is the second one so I'll be decluttering this one because I've had it for a while and I didn't want to open any new mascaras during this project pan when I didn't open any for April either because I already have some open I want to go ahead and use them and then once those are used up then I'll start opening some new ones because I have about three or four new ones um, that I you know want to try but these were my mascaras for liners I used I have the wet n wild um, color icon pencil and I used it up and these things are this is how long they are get them at the Dollar Tree last you forever I'm using this in my April I brought it out in my April one so but I used that one up and then the bodyography one in onyx she's used up and then when those two were used up because they were already small um, I brought out my extra lasting pencil there hair keep seeing a hair a extra lasting pencil from essence extreme lasting this one is in black love these are very very creamy very creamy and very inexpensive so but the thing about it is is when you sharpen these because they're so soft you do lose a lot of product but they're inexpensive so you know repurchasing it is not gonna break the bank but I brought that in once those two were used up for liquid liner I used my that's dirty I used my um, essence super last liner this is the matte one I love these I've gone through a few and the tip is wonky but it's like a it's like a, a rounded tip and it's like a foam tip but it's very black very nice but what I do is I take this out and I put it on a piece of like plastic I have a little plastic here and I put it on there and then I use a very a very small brush like this this is a nail brush and I use this to do my wings with because that that applicator is not going to do it for me so I use that and then the glam light um, calligrapher pen I didn't like this when I first started using it but I've gotten used to it my best friend gifted this to me and it's very nice and also very black and wears well this one wears well as well so you have a shiny one and a matte one but those were my liners. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with what I'm gonna be using for April. And again, when I film this, I'm already using these. It's been a couple of days. Today is the uh, fourth, so I've been using it for a couple days. So for my face uh, mist, uh, for my 
um, primer spray. I'm using the Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist, and this is where she where she's at right now. And I really like this. Again, I put on a spray before makeup, and then also after I put on my powders to set it down. And also, I use it to spray any like shimmers or multi-chromes or anything like that. So that's what my primer spray is. And then my primer primer, I am using my Peter Thomas Roth Skin for Life. I love this primer. It's very smoothing and it's a mattifying primer because we're getting into the spring. There's gonna be more humidity in the air once the weather where I live decides to go to therapy and figure out whether it's spring or winter. Right now, it's back and forth, so. This is a mattifying primer, so when it is a little more humid outside, then, you know, to keep those, keep my skin matte and not shiny, but this is one of my favorite primers, um, but these are my two primers for April. For my eye primer, I pulled up my Mud Masky um, Moisture Boost Vitamin Boost. What is it? Moisture Boost Vitamin Boost Feeding Nourishing Firming vitamin infused eye serum so this there's a lot in here i've had this for a while it's getting there it's getting there but again i use it before makeup and also for my nighttime skincare for lip treatments i brought back out this um amina amina macaroon lip scrub it smells very very sweet like um cotton candy my husband decided he when I got this, let me back up, it was nice and like poofy, like a little, yeah, it was really poofy, and I was just taking a little bit at a time, and my husband's like, oh, let me, what is this, and stuck his finger in there, and that's what it looks like. He pushed it all down in there, so, yeah. Keep your husbands away from your makeup if they don't wear it. Thanks, because they don't, they don't know, they, they just don't know. So, I'm using this, and it's a nice scrub, it's, it's got a nice coarse, coarseness to it but not too coarse and it smells good and it tastes good and then the lipstick queen this is just a little mini of their um color changing lippy this one is in can't read that without my glasses on and i don't have my glasses over here so i'll just put the name right here but it's yellow and it turns pink it turns the component pink too but it's a nice lip balm and I'm not gonna screw it all the way out because, well, I can because it is almost gone. So maybe I can use this up. But I don't mind it turning pink, but it's a nice lip balm because that's what I use it for. But those are my lip treatments. For moisturizer, I'm using this Earth Harbor Nymph Nectar Super Fruit Radiance Balm. This stuff is so awesome and it smells so good. I just wanna eat it. It looks like it's gone bad. Like when you open it, you're like, is this gone bad? No, that's the way it looks. When you take it out, and I just use like the back of my thumb or a spatula, when you put it on, it looks like it's gone bad, but when you, it just melts. You don't only need a little bit of this because it's, it's like a oil. It turns into like a oil and it absorbs nicely and it's very hydrating very nice so when you get if you get one of these don't think it's gone bad it's not yeah it looks like it's gone bad but it's not it just melts right into the skin for concealer i have quite a few things here um this is the essence camouflage this one's in dark caramel this is about done so i'm gonna just finish it up and i've taken the stopper out this will be done and again i mix these together and the item beauty one I really enjoy this I have a backup this one is in five uh, excuse me 350 this is their air hug concealer and again I took the stopper out and there is a hair of course there is hair hair everywhere so I took the stopper out of this one and this is about done so I want to go ahead and and use it up mix those together and use it up and then the Becca Smashbox Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Medium Dark. I enjoy this too for correcting. It's like a, it's like, it's got like a little bit of a peach in it, 
but it's also cool at the same time and I have a neutral uh, tone and then my um, Born This Way Too Faced Born This Way this one is in golden and this is very light and this will last you forever because it's such a large bottle it's like a foundation bottle so I took the stopper out of this to make sure I get what I need and then again I just mix these together to to do my concealing for foundations I have this collab um, foundation got this at Sally's I'd heard about this for years I would heard so many people talking about collab 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 but they had this marked down it was seven dollars and fifty nine cents so I went ahead and and got it to try it this one is in terracotta it's a little red it does have a pump the, the, the top of this is like soft feel is really nice and it's a really heavy it's a heavy bottle heavy glass bottle and it has a pump on it and this is where it is right now it's full and then I'm mixing that with my Superstay Maybelline stick in warm Sun this was from the Dollar Tree and she is almost come on she is almost there almost done so I just swipe a couple of stripes of this on and then put this on and it works great and I already have it mixed up this one I have mixed in here with these drops I forgot I mixed in these uh, Becca Jessica Blanc glow drops just to add a little bit of um, you know glow for the summer or the spring or whatever and these are really nice and this is in rose pearl they it's 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 nice to you can do this alone or you can mix this into your foundations or whatnot but it's it's a nice glow it's not too harsh and see it's not too harsh and if you mix it in with your foundation you just get a little bit of glow so that's what I did was I took this and this and mixed it in with of course this to make the color that I need which is more of a neutral cooler tone and then swipe this on and it worked just fine my skin looks flawless this stuff is awesome so those were my face um, like my foundation for the month for my powders I have this Becca Hydra mist they don't make this anymore because Becca's no longer available <clears throat> excuse me and when they started going out of business I saw this at TJ Maxx so I bought a backup of this so I do have a backup of this and I've been using this for a long time this powder it's very finely milled and very light this one is in the color golden bronze and it's supposed to be it's hydro mist it's supposed to feel cooling when you put it on I don't feel coolness but I like the formula it's like I said it's finely milled and and I really enjoy that and then I have the cab translucent translucent powder that I got from BoxyCharm which is also very nice. I like a translucent because I just mix these two together for like under eye powder and all over face powder. So those are the um, my powders. For brows, I have the e.l.f. Instant um, Lift Brow Pencil. I heard a lot of people talking about this and I got one to try it and it's got a nice spoolie on the end there. And then this one, I forgot this color is in. And I hate it that they don't put the colors on the actual product. Come on, Elf, we can do that. I think this one is in, hold on, hold the phone. Deep brown. They put the color right here instead of right here, which, you know, some of us are getting old. We can't read that stuff. And this is what she looks like. It's a nice, cool toned brown which I need for my brows. Then I'm pairing that with the Benefit Brow Styler. I got this in a drop box from Brock, 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 a drop box from BoxyCharm, which is now BoxyCharm Ipsy. So 
this on one end is the liner and this is the color does it say number four this is color four and then on this end there is a powder and it does not give out a lot of product for the powder so what I do is I use this at the front of my brows and then what I've been doing because this color here in this um, Ioni Perfect Brow Mink uh, Mini Kit this is almost used I just mix these two together it's not dark enough so what I've been doing is I pull in a brown eyeshadow um, for the these last couple days I used my Kat Von D Monarch palette. I used to use it a long time ago for brow powder because the brown in there is perfect and I would mix it with the black a little bit. And then I also used my Urban Decay Smoked palette which has a nice brown in there. So I've been just bringing in a brown eyeshadow since this isn't um, dark enough to fill in my brows. And then the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel this is the messiest packaging messy it is so messy and this brush <laughs> it's 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 going through something because the hairs are thinning but i do use it you have to clean it off really really well because it will be goopy on your brows but once you can get it on there it keeps them in place so that's the only reason that this is still in my collection because it does work the packaging is messy the brush is not very usable but the formula is great so those are brow products for my blushes I mean I brought out my elf palettes I've had these for a long time and I enjoy them very very much and they're great for travel because you get four different colors and they have rubber bands on them because they are broken i have the dark one and the light one this is the dark and the light and you can pop these out so if you were traveling and you wanted to mix these up and just take you know one palette you could do that this is the light one this one is it's, it's going to hit pan here soon because i've used it so so much and then this is the dark one and I mix all of these together I love these these two have a little bit of shimmer in them but they're very pigmented you have to go very light with these that's why they're still around and they haven't hit pan because you don't use up blush that that quickly and these are very pigmented so this one is also getting down there too so yeah so if you buy these you'll have them for a long time and if you don't um, have any blush in your collection these you can buy both of these in your set you're good so especially if you're about my skin tone these would be perfect for you even if you're a little lighter so those are my blushes for highlight and contour I got a plethora of things here okay um, I have this Trustique um, stick it's almost done that's how much she has left there so I'm gonna try to use her up and I just use it as a base for for a neutral toned highlight look at that so pretty or you can use it by itself this is in the color Maldives and then pair that with you know a powder and I have my sleek highlighting palette my bestie gave me this I think she got me this for Christmas and my birthday a while ago I enjoy this too this is a cream it's more of a more of a icier color icier than the see the difference here between that trust trustee and this one this one's a little bit more icy and cool toned and then I have these in here so I always have a cool tone and warm tone highlight so those are my cool tones and then my warm tone is the wet n wild highlighter in golden flower crown I think I have all the colors of these all of them 
this one is more warm. So I have my warm and my cool highlight. For contour, I had this, I've got this in a boxy, I got this in boxy charm um, recently. This is the Ace Beauté Sculpt Palette. It's beautiful. And it's a cream contour and you get four different shades. You can mix them if you want. I used these two. This one I could just use by itself, but I mixed these two. It blended nicely. It was it was very nice. I had no complaints about it at all. But then I need to bring in a powder contour as well. And I have forgot. So this was my this is my cream contour. And then I brought in this one here and I just put it in this Z palette. This is from Pure. This was in a um a um face palette. It had two contours and two highlights and I decluttered the highlights and I kept the contours and I have the other contour in another Z palette but I brought this out because I want to go ahead and use it up very pigmented you only need a little bit I've had this for a long time and I'm still trying to use it all up so I'm gonna try to use this up for the month of April if I don't use it all up this month I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it and start using the other one which is not as used as this one but this is from pure and then for a bronzer these were at Dollar Tree about three of them all three colors that they had this one one a slightly deeper color than this and then another one that's really deep that I can use for powder contour this one I'm gonna use I mean powder bronzer powder contour that's what I mean contour this one I'm gonna I'm using as a bronzer and it is a foundation but it blends out nicely as a contour just to add a little bit of you know uh, depth to your face so those were the items let me put this away it's very shiny I don't like uh, products that you know show a lot of fingerprints but this is one of those can't do anything about that but these are my contour bronzer um, and highlights for April so we're just going to do all of these at once. So this is my eye primer. This is the Ace Beauté Eye Primer in Deep. It's very nice. You only need a little bit. The has my uh, eyeshadow last all day. have no problems with it. No creasing. Anything like that. My eye, my liquid liner is another Essence Super Last. This one is in Deep Black. This is the shiny one. Again, very black very nice I love these I will continue to repurchase I've gone through I don't know how many of these and they're very inexpensive pencil liner again is the wet n wild color icon and baby got black get this at the Dollar Tree last you forever for mascara I'm using the uh, deli plus volume and curl this is a Spanish indie brand my lovely Spanish friend um, Nadia sent me this in a package for Christmas with a few other things and I love this mascara it is very volumizing and lengthening and if you've never seen the brush it's got little flat steps on it it's got little steps on it it's got little uh, spikes and it has little steps very interesting and it's twisted I love it I will have to get a backup or I might have her you know get her to send me another one and I'll pay her for it because this is my favorite mascara um, so far this year um, and then I brought out my Marc Jacobs little mini this is the velvet noir she is about done I've had her for quite a while and used her many times and I love her but I might have to look into getting um, the full size, which is a little bit more expensive. But if I can find it at TJ Maxx, because that's where I found this, another mini, that would be great. All right, so that was what I'm using for the month of April in my project pan. 
um, if you do project pan let me know let me know your progress what you're using if you have a video for it I would love to see it I appreciate everyone for stopping by and hanging out with me today I appreciate all of you make sure that you like share and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram but again I appreciate you all thanks for coming and we'll see you in the next video